this is one of the first places we saw, the cathedral. It was a pretty magical place. Oh, we're in Iceland. When we were inside, however, we got an idea of what it was like from, to be treated from the locals. We were shooed around. I got checked in the shoulder and she got pushed. It was odd. Baby. Yeah. What's one thing that you notice about Iceland right away? Everyone is rude. Rude. <laughs> They're so rude. <laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was just rude. Aww. I think the town of Reykjavik is gorgeous. I'm happy to be here. I'm way happier. Happy in Iceland. So day one in Iceland, and we just had our first meal. Now, where are we going right now, Jamie? Penis museum. <laughs> Penis museum. <laughs> Jamie, there's one truth in this world, just one, and it's a fact. What's Every that? man knows how to draw a dick. <laughs> it, it is true. Every man does know how to draw a dick. And uh, all of these dicks are different kinds of animals. And it's very interesting to see it that way, even the mythological creatures' penises. Now the ice bar is a popular tourist place, which is very charming and incredible drinks. Hi, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's a very cute place. Pretty enjoyed it. It's 100% an Instagram worthy place. Happy, Jamie. I'm so happy. <laughs> I found this place to be extremely charming. It had such a great vibe to it. Give me three words. I love you. Give me four words. Four. All right. <laughs> Jamie, what is the rest? Oh. <laughs> but not only that, they are also working on moving the ring road slightly. As of right now, the ring road goes straight through the next town. We are the nation that takes the most. and they are going to the ocean. There's something about the land of Iceland that's just constantly magical. Hey, Jamie. Hi. 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 What's one thing you noticed about people in Iceland? They're rude. They're rude. <laughs> so, so rude. rude. <laughs> It's so loud, it's so powerful, I have no idea. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Iceland is it's surprisingly good. It's absolutely magical. Every meal we had was incredible. What's one thing about Iceland that you didn't expect? Um, the food is amazing. Yeah, it's <laughs> delicious. I just love the quaintness of the town of Reykjavik. <laughs> That's a the bomb. Oh. <laughs> Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool to see these things you've known before and touch them and be there to see the glory of these like plans or so amazing, it's awesome. this particular place. This is where they actually filmed the beginning of the movie Prometheus, which is just up in my book of one of the favorite things ever. Anything alien is amazing. is a very popular place. Some people hate it, but we loved it. It was a little bit uh, crammed in the sense of a lot of people, but we liked it a lot. Being there in real life, looking up at these extremely steep cliff sides and this black sand and the eerie lighting is a sight to be seen for sure.
This volcano was recently active. We just missed it by a couple of weeks, uh, but it was still interesting, even though it was no longer active. It was actually quite a bit of a hike that day, but very, very cool. It was still smoldering and you could feel the heat and smell it and it was actually really fascinating to see. And of course you're going to walk inside of this water. There you can see the different layers and parts of the lava. It reached very far. It was enormous. Those are people down there. That's how big that is. That's what it means. It's coming down in September. Volcano versus me. Who would win? Yeah. Okay, right. Good answer. I forgot my rain pants this time, and I got completely soaked. I was dripping. This waterfall is no joke, and you definitely get pretty wet if you get too close. Thank you so much for watching my Iceland trip. I hope you enjoyed it and found it relaxing and maybe a little inspired to go there yourself. Uh, I mentioned the people of Iceland being rude and that just seems to be the case wherever you go if you're not in America, to be honest. Um, it's just different cultures. They were not mean, they were very friendly and nice in a lot of ways, especially if they were your servers, uh, but just the people around town that were the locals. Uh, they had a little bit of a chip on their shoulder and I get it, I grew up in Cape Cod, which is, uh, the economy is driven by the tourism and I can imagine that Iceland is pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, you kind of have a love-hate relationship with tourists uh, because, you know, that's just how it goes. So uh, there's no hate towards them. It was just kind of a funny running joke that we would say to each other because <laughs> they would just be so odd and uh, cold. So it was kind of funny. Um, and then as far as the locations, it really felt like a whole different planet. It was surreal and uh, it was so magical and I recommend it. People before would be like, why would you go there? And I'm like, why not? This place is magical. A lot of people think that vacations and travel has to do with places like sitting on a beach with a drink in hand and relaxing. But to me, I'm more interested in adventure and seeing things I've never seen and doing things I've never done. Uh, it's far more interesting and I have a lot more uh, insight to the world because I like to do things that aren't necessarily the most beaten on the most beaten path. 
a little bit about how we booked this is found the flights on Google Flights, got a really cheap deal for $400 for the flights. Uh, we booked some tours through AAA, which really saved us a lot of money. And then we did an Airbnb, which also saved us a lot of money. We decided to get a more affordable Airbnb because we were in the Reykjavik area and we knew we were not going to be back at the apartment all that much. So we didn't book any special great cool place, which we might do when we go back on the East Coast because the East Coast is much more quaint and cute and less of a city. And we really, really loved Iceland. It was, it's awesome. But if you have any other questions about how we toured and got there and everything, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Till next time, cheers.